Well, hello and welcome to Understand Men Now. I'm Jonathan Asley of jonathanasley.com and I'm so excited to be shooting this short video for you today. Our topic, how to make a man crave you after sleeping together. <laughs> okay, real quickly, uh, if you're new to my channel, please hit the subscribe button or the bell. And also, if you like this video, please hit like button and I really would appreciate a comment. Also, there's a couple links there below if you'd like to check out more about what I do. Okay how to make a man crave you after sleeping together okay a very common tale i hear from women is that once a man has slept with you their you know their energy is no longer as uh aggressive or progressive as it was in the beginning stages and mainly this happens because in the early stages of dating for men in particular we are craving that physical connection. We're craving that desire to be physical with a woman. It's one of the reasons why the idea of the chase and the hunt is predicated on chasing sex for the most part. And while this isn't always the case, um, anyone who comes on really strong uh, in the beginning of a relationship is often driven by biology. Now, there's another reason why a man might come on strong, and that is that he's craving emotional connection because he's disconnected emotionally to himself. Let me repeat that. He's craving emotional connection because he's disconnected emotionally to himself. In other words, he needs to feel connected to another human being because he's lacking self-worth self-esteem, self-confidence within himself. And while this is, um, I'm stating this about men, this is absolutely true for women as well. Women oftentimes are pursuing relationships because they're not feeling whole within themselves. So there's the biological reasons and then there's the emotional reasons why some people are choosing to connect with other people. It's kind of like that line from Jerry Maguire, you complete me. In other words, I need you to feel good about myself. In fact, we're very conditioned uh, to be this way from early on in childhood. Okay, so the sleeping together part and to continue to want to, to I don't want to, I don't like the term making a man do anything, but certainly what men crave in relationship. I'm going to mention the three top things that they crave from women. Um, now, I'm going to talk about men who are emotionally grown up. We'll call them quality men. We'll call them emotionally grown up. Men that are actually kind of mature because immature men, emotionally immature men require something different. But what emotionally mature men, those quality men that, you, that many of you are interested in being in relationship, there are three things that they really want from a woman that makes them continue to want to be with a woman after They've had sex with a woman after that initial conquest. So number one is something about that woman radiates. It radiates. And we oftentimes think of confidence as radiating, but certainly confidence can radiate. But there's something about a woman that just radiates. And what I would like to look at is, does she smile often? Does her eyes light up? Does she seem enthusiastic? Enthusiasm, effusiveness, demonstrative energy is incredibly enticing. And for an emotionally healthy man, he wants to be, he craves that from a woman, that energy of radiance. Okay? Um, and for a lot of people, because they've been so many women, and many, maybe even you watching this, might have been hurt in a past relationship, there's actually a slight energy of being uh, jaded which doesn't show your radiance. So just want you to lean into that. Number two is your sovereignty, your sovereignty. Um, this, I, I learned the term sovereignty from watching the TV show, The Crown, but the sovereignty is kind of its own, own entity. In other words, you're solid and complete within yourself. In other words, you don't have to have, I need you to complete me. You are complete within yourself. Someone who is whole and complete, has a life of their own, doesn't feel like they, they don't come across as needing someone to, to feel good about themselves, but they actually feel good about themselves and they want someone. They are in their sovereignty. That's incredibly attractive to that quality man who is also coming from his place of sovereignty. And the third piece is uh, what Tony Robbins talks about in the six uh, basic human needs. Number two is variety, 
or novelty. In other words, we want a level of certainty in our lives, but we also want some spontaneity, some surprise. And so that woman who has a sense of novelty in her life, a variety, in other words, it's all not always doing the same thing over and over again. She's not in a treadmill in her life. She's spontaneous. She might want to go hiking out of the blue. She might want to jump in the car and say, let's go take a drive. Doing spontaneous things that are from a place of variety or novelty is incredibly attractive and men crave that. Those quality, emotionally mature men crave those three things and certainly we crave more. But if we feel that before we enter in relationship with you, we're more apt to want to continue with you after we've had sex with you. And while this isn't an absolute, it's a bit of a generalization, um, there is some truth to it on some level, so take it for what it's worth and see if it resonates for you in your own life. Okay, I'd like to hear your thoughts on this. Please post a comment below if this resonated with you. If you have something to say, I want to hear about it. Also, I remember to check out those links below. I'd love for you to schedule a call with me if you think working with a coach. Um, my job is to help prepare you to attract that great quality guy in your life. So if you want to meet that kind of guy, schedule a call with me or check out my book, what the heck is self-love anyway, which the link is there below. Okay, I'm going to sign off this video as I always do, giving you a big, gigantic Jonathan Bear hug if I have your consent. Aw, thank you. Mm. Wishing you a wonderful day. Thanks so much. Bye-bye now.